Hi, welcome to SBS Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Today, next is Mike Brenner. This is the MLB Odds Couple Show for Tuesday, June 21st. Mike Brenner, we got a full card. We got a lot of big favorites like the Mets, the yeah. Cleveland. Something's telling me to uh, to take it a little bit uh, easy on this card, but we'll see. Let's <laughs> throw up the record, man. Yeah, I don't know about for you. For yesterday, for me, Mike Brenner, this is why it's so hard to make uh, units here. I had one bad pick with Philly, yeah. one unlucky pick with Boston uh, not winning yep. the, the the game yep. with the base loaded bottom of the ninth. I and saw just that. that base is loaded. Throw add that to one smart pick bam three units down the drain yeah i know and look at me you know my yeah. one game that did come through yesterday was the emotional game with with uh yeah. cleveland i said yeah. take it the emotion guess what they did in yeah, the seventh lost. inning they yeah. showed a picture on the uh, jumbotron at cleveland stadium with lebron kissing the uh, the trophy hmm. so obviously i think it ignited that team so well, if they've done that in the fourth inning you would have cashed the first Not five but, yeah man <laughs> pistol listen Pete. these are uh, these are uh, these is. are tough it's very it's treacherous pulses. hey it's a different animal right yeah, here yeah you should you mess up a little bit bam yeah. five units ten units gone but all right we got all a full right. card today again oh and uh, also we've got uh, you might have noticed that we've got our animations at the bottom when we give our picks uh, when we discuss these games you can just click on what uh, you see at the bottom and they, you can go to uh, the SBR odds game information and it gets all everything you need yeah. it's so informative please check it out extremely informative all right so Tuesday, Ooh. June 21st. Yeah, something's telling me to uh, take it easy, Mike Brenner. I might just give one or two <laughs> Let picks hell with here. it. Let's stop filming. Let's go yeah, have a beer. No, no, let's go let's, hit the beach. I, we'll discuss all these games, oh, but I think oh. I might only wind up giving like uh, one or two picks. Yeah, something's telling okay. me to be careful. Yeah, you just stop right there. Yeah, you say the, that every time you uh, come out with no, six one, or seven. Well, the first one that, that, <laughs> I, that I would love to take, but it's a massive line, is just the Mets with Cindergard. Yeah, you know, that. Casey's been winning. The Mets have been struggling, but Cindergard is legit awesome. It really I mean, is. Anytime he's going out, if you can justify a play on him, line's kind of up there, minus 180. I know. And he's all, I mean, he's got oh, that Kershaw. Yeah. You know, especially when exactly. the lines are out on him. And, and, and there's, that's, God, I didn't take, uh, in the, uh, yesterday I said, man, mm -hmm. I should take the Dodgers on the minus one. I didn't have the balls yeah, to do that. All right. We're going to change it today, but uh, I, I feel like I should have the balls to take the one. Kennedy is pitching on the other side. He's See, that's very, why very I do hittable. like it. He is hittable. Yeah. He's hittable. Well, and, and of course, New York's at home. Yeah. Um, God, Pistol Pete. And it's just, That's I mean, it's line, just Syndergaard. Though. Like, their lineup is struggling, but Syndergaard himself could give the lineup a boost. Sure. Of course he can. He's liable to he knock one or two run. out of the park. All right, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take the Mets he just minus one. He talked himself into it. Here no, we go. I mean, that was, I'll take the Mets minus one. Bookmaker uh, minus 180. The Chris Books wow. minus 180 one. is the Munla. I'm going to take it minus one. Okay. The Chris Books minus 180, and then the uh, the run line is Pinnacle uh, plus 121. You, I can't I'll try to talk it. you off yeah. that, and that's simply because of Syndergaard. Like you said, he's capable of winning that two. Or nothing, he can do real. it himself. All okay. right, Mike Brenner, do you have anything you're uh, liking today? Well, what I am liking is a bounce back for uh, uh, Toronto today. Mm. Estrada's on the mound. All mm. right, this guys were on a seven game win streak, and yeah. in five of those seven games, yeah. they scored ten yeah. or more. Yeah. All right. Then they got beat yeah. over the weekend by Baltimore. It's time to bounce back. Arizona flying from Philadelphia yesterday. Corbin's on the mound. Corbin's solid though. His yeah. kid is not. Yeah. You know, he has some solid outings. But I just think today Toronto figures it out. They get back on top, and that batting. Order just really Arizona good. coming off a sweep of Philly and they're not that they're not that good. Arizona's you know I mean? not. Yeah, no, what's the first half run line? Pistol Pete and talk first to me sharp. Half now. run line Come on, for don't Arizona. Come out there half first stepping. half run, plus one oh five. Okay, I'm taking first half run line. I'm jumping on this twice and I'm going full game run line. Full game run line for Arizona. For, I mean for, Toronto. Oh, yeah, I'm don't sorry, throw for, me on Arizona's train. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 that train crashing today, baby. Off I, gave, the track. I, gave, I saw I saw the wrong line. I was giving you the Arizona line. The first half run line for Toronto is minus one twenty five. Okay, and how about the full game? The full game run line for Toronto is uh, at Pinnacle plus 104. There you go. I'm pulling the trig uh, trigger twice, yeah. Pistol Pete. All right. I can certainly... Uh See why that would be. Yeah, they, I yeah. think I think that's a good winner. I don't. I don't. I think it is too. Yeah, I yeah. think you're right. All right, let's talk about another game. Uh, Tampa Bay, Cleveland. Tampa Bay's having a lot of issues, right? Injuries. Yeah. Their bullpen isn't getting it done. And then they got this uh, young phenom Snell on the mound who uh, has great potential. He sure does. At some boy. point, he's going to be good. He's not putting ball. it together yet. Yeah. Uh, so this one is another one. It's like I want to take Cleveland. It's tough to go against a big live young arm like Snell, but uh, he's you know he's still figuring out his way in the majors. Tampa Bay's having team issues and it's a massive line again minus 180 for Cleveland what do you think I know and yesterday um Oosh. well shit I don't know you know Cleveland again they're riding momentum pistol Pete that that that, that, that energy that's happening in that town because today by the way is the picnic yeah. I mean not the picnic yeah. the big parade for the NBA I'm not kidding you. I think they yeah. probably just grab that momentum once again but I'm staying off it that's too high of a line it for is me. too high of a line right yeah. and yeah. I can tell you're trying to talk yourself off it so let's just move yeah. on to the All right, next let's game move I'm going to do your favor then, then let's talk about an even higher line that okay. probably <laughs> probably we shouldn't take is uh, Jose Fernandez from yeah. Miami now I he's own, awesome yeah. and Atlanta you know God Atlanta was putting it together a little bit and then that rookie got injured right he so sure now they did. got 
that another. And then they got Bud Norris starting, and Bud Norris has had two good outings. Is I know. That, is that going to last? No way. But is it going to like blow up here? I don't know. And if you want Miami, minus 240. See, I don't like it because, you know, Oof. Bud Norris, again, those two that he put together, one of yeah. them really bit me in the ass. And the other thing is Atlanta, as much as they've had their ups and downs and trying to figure it out, this Miami team hasn't been any walk in the park. Yeah. They're struggling, you know, in several categories as well. Yeah. But the guy's a horse on the mound, but that's just, man, that's, that's just, just too damn too high. Pete. That's just too high. Yeah. I could see Miami being up like four to one and then blowing it in the ninth. Or yeah, the just staying yeah, off it. Just, just staying just off staying it. Off it. All right. What are you think? What are you going to give us? Uh, well, I better? like a full game run line. I don't yeah. know what that is, but talk to me, Pistol yeah. Pete. I like Baltimore today with mm. Wilson. All right. Hey, yeah. I'm just telling you, these guys had 19 hits in an 11 6 win over Toronto yeah. on Sunday. All right. And they got a one game lead over Boston. So they're looking at Boston saying, wait a minute, yeah. we got to maintain this lead. Padres, now I'm coming back strong because Perdomo yeah. bit me in the ass yeah. last time and he's yeah. just not consistent enough. I don't yeah. think he is. So I think this is a good spot. Um, they, they won two over, you know, against Washington after going one and seven the last yeah. eight. So they got a little momentum, but. Baltimore, talk to me, Pistol Pete. Full yeah. game run line because well, I got to crank it up. Full game run line, we can do it at Pinnacle plus one hundred four. The only issue is it's, it's a bit of a tough scheduling spot for Baltimore, right? Because they had to play that game in Texas, yeah, which was which was unexpected. It was, it was. Then again, San Diego is just not is just the kind of team you want to be betting against. And yeah. with Perdomo starting, I mean, he could get lit. I know, up. and it's not even that, Pistol Pete. I know the travel. I know that one game was it was not originally scheduled and so forth. But this batting lineup is just really yeah. got potential. Weeders and everything. These there's three you. of these yeah. guys like on seventeen the other, for On the other hand, you're betting on this guy Wilson at minus. 180 for the for the money line, but yeah, I hear you. All so right, I'm going run line. I hear you. I hear you. All right, plus 104 is the run line for Baltimore. And uh, let's see, what else am I thinking? I'm not even going to bring up the Sale and Buckholz game. That's no. too. That's too. Uh, <laughs> too many. And we're talking about a lot of games, a lot of unknowns. Buckholz, so many wow. Unknowns. Yeah, he could get pounded. Yeah. and I don't know. Should we talk about the Verlander start? He's starting at home against Paxton. With yeah, we're going to talk about line. it because that's my that's last pick. pick. All right, let's my last it. pick. Yeah. All right, here we go. Upton finally earns yeah. his paycheck. This guy yeah. was so overpaid. You know, I, I just don't like that shit, Pete. When yeah. these guys are getting paid millions and yeah. they don't show up. Well, last night he erupted two home runs. One was a walk off. They build off of that energy. Verlander, all right, he's good enough to get it done. And I understand Paxton is this guy's good. I like yeah. Paxton. Yes. He, he's not a joke. Yes. All right. But I think today Verlander gets the better of him. Yeah. Full game money line pistol. Mm. Pete was look. I was looking at minus one thirty two. Can well, you help me? We're going to give you at Bookmaker and Chris minus one twenty five. Pistol that's Pete, what, I love. That's what line shopping does. That's SBR right. SBRodds.com. No, for real, that's it what does. Line shopping does <laughs> minus one twenty five. We can give you right now at the Chris books. Yep. And that's it. That's it for me, yeah, Pistol. And I'm sense. just, I'm that just not sense. going crazy today. And how about you? What else do you got? Well, I bet one on the overnight, not huge, but I bet it. I bet the over eight and a half in Santiago and McHugh, uh, Angels and Houston. They both put up a ton of runs yesterday. And Santiago yeah. and McHugh, it's tough because both of them are coming off of a good start, but both of them also were getting hit repeatedly yes, before that. So the question is, you know, will those good starts uh, be indicative of what to expect? Well, I mean, we've seen that before. We saw it with uh, Shoemaker, right? Yeah. He had a bunch of terrible starts, and he had one good start, and it turned out to be a bunch yes. of good starts in a row. We've seen that. With some, we saw that with uh, with uh, with uh, Cece Samantha, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Getting hit, then he had one good start. You're like, this can't last, but it Boom, did, it right? Did. Right? Right? Yeah, still is. So I could see one or both of these guys get on a run because they do have a history of doing well. You know what? I think I might just Come go on. with the Mets. No, I'm, I'm going to hold on. I think okay. I'm just going to go with the Mets uh, at, uh, at at minus one. And then what else was I thinking Well, I just about? wanted to talk about yeah. the Cubs real quick yeah, also. Go ahead, I'm not going to do anything with yeah. it because you mentioned this yesterday with Dexter Fowler. Fowler That's going to have an injury, impact. Yes. It's going to. I mean, this this team is young enough. They're they're confident enough. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm just staying off of them for a minute because the Cardinals just been hitting machines, buddy. So I'll tell you what I will give. I will give Milwaukee on the second half. That's Whoa, that, I'm that came at. out of left yeah, field. What yeah. the hell is that all about? Uh, you know, Milwaukee, I'm, I'm, I just like to fade over. Oakland in any which way. And, uh, <laughs> Especially you know, Sonny Gray, right? Yeah, in no, the second half. Yeah, yeah. And so so I'm going to take uh, Milwaukee on the second half. Should be about minus 115. Or Isn't minus Nelson on the mound today? For yeah, him? and okay. he's, he's a big wild card. He has, uh, you know, some, he has good stuff, but not first starter stuff. Yeah. So sometimes he gets hit. Sometimes he has decent I like games. That. So probably have a decent game here, but one way or another. Uh, I like the confidence I think in that, that call. I'll take Milwaukee minus 115 or minus 120. And yeah, I guess that's. Uh, that's about it for me. I'm just going to give two picks. The LAA wow. Houston over is a borderline, so I might tweet that one out, but uh, I don't know. For now, I'm going to stay off it. And that's it for you. Review your picks. All right, I'm going to review mine. We're going to hit it today, Pistol Feet. Yeah. I am well overdue for a yeah. bounce back, and then it's time to get consistent. Mm. And I'm not kidding you. It's time to cash some tickets. Toronto, first half run line, minus 125. Doubling up on that with the full game run line, plus 104 for Toronto. Baltimore today, full game run line, plus 104. And Detroit today, full game money line, minus 125. So 
four picks. It's just yeah. one of those cards that just. Yeah, it's a tricky card. It really a lot, is. A lot of big favorites that you can't bet on, can't bet against. Yeah. Like Jose Fernandez. So they were offering minus 150. I'd take it. Exactly. But 240? Come on. No, I come can on. see if they had an offense behind right. him, but that team is just too inconsistent. But then am I going to bet so. against Jose Fernandez with Atlanta? Hell no. no. Way. I'm, I'm not me, doing that either. Give me, give me so. plus 500 and I'll do yeah. it. Other than that, no way. All right. I just got two picks. The Mets minus one. Milwaukee second half. We'll see what tomorrow's card brings. And uh, we'll be back for uh, that card, Wednesday card tomorrow. Let's get it done and go Tigers, baby. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.